Hello everybody, my name is Raging Raptor and I welcome you to a new World of Tanks preview video. And today we have a new Centurion modification. And this Centurion modification, as you can already see, will be a great British premium tank on the tier 8. But it is a modification which the Australian people did. So with the Sentinel AC1 and the Sentinel AC4 experimental, this will be theoretically the third Australian tank in the world of tanks tech tree, which is actually pretty darn neato. But this tank is also quite special as it is a modification in the sense of having more armor, better gun stabilization and a stronger engine. So. At the moment, it sounds a little bit like a power creep to the old Centurion Mark I in the tech tree, which already got power creeped once by the Primo Victoria, which they luckily buffed to the same position. Just the Primo Victoria tank uses APCR ammunition as standard ammunition. So yeah, let's have a look at the stats, but before we do that, we can go actually in the World of Tanks forum where they also show us the stats of said vehicle. And we even can have a look at some of those spicy looking pictures because honestly, the tank looks pretty darn sweet. Like the model looks amazing. I like that they started to take away those side skirts. Yes, they are there for a little bit of armor, so they will be lost. It has better frontal armor. You can already see that there is a huge plate up welded to the front. And overall, the model of this tank actually looks fantastic. I really like how, again, stuff is put into a cage in the back. We have something new in the back, a big box, I think. I don't know what is in there. Um, it won't be counted as something for the damage model, but hey, that is a new tank and it actually, the model, just for itself looks gorgeous that it is the third centurion modification we get as a, or the second mo centurion modification we get as a premium tank is a little bit boring but okay so now let's have a close look at the stats and i guess it will be a good idea to compare it right now with the normal centurion mark one from the british tag tree so we have a good look at what exactly is going to change in between those vehicles First of all, you will lose some HP. At the moment, you have 1,400 hit points on the new um, RAAC modification, while on the normal Mark I, you have 1,450 health. The engine power goes up rather drastically to around 950, not around 950, around 200 horsepower more and it even gives us a better power to weight ratio that's actually by a lot um, the centurion premium victoria actually has the same amount of power to weight ratio i think as the normal centurion action um, centurion mark one but it gets bumped up to 18.6 which is almost two horsepower per ton more the weight on the other hand making making it this tank a little bit more um ram worthy um, wait, there is no weight in here, or I'm just too bad to see it, I guess. Oh no, there we go. The total weight is 44.9 tons, so 45 tons, while the new Centurion has a weight of 51 tons. So you are 7 tons heavier and are even faster, which is pretty darn strong in my opinion. The whole traverse is 36 degrees on the RAAC modification, while the one in the <coughs> um, on the live server is 37 degrees per second, or 42 degrees per second on hard terrain. Um, actually, is it right? I'm not. Um, I'm not sure. Effective um, traverse. Ah, there, there's the gun traverse. It's 40 degrees on the new modify um, on the um, tech tree tank. While on the RAAC, I hope I can finally remember that it's RAAC and not ARRC. <laughs> it is 37.5. The ground resistance will most likely be a little bit worse. No, it actually is the same, which is surprising. Even though this tank is heavier by seven tons. But again, we should not forget this is the first iteration of this vehicle. So 
it will most likely be changed. The fuel range is the same as the one on our um, live server right now, which is 400 meter base, which can easily be bumped up to, you guessed it, 445 meters and more. And radio range, let's be honest, no one cares about. The whole armor, sadly we do not have yet pictures of the armor of this vehicle, but it will be most likely something like the one on the Centurion Action X. Maybe wor like most likely worse, because as you can see, this one 133mm um, armor, while this one will have 120.7. But you can see that the Centurion Action X has, or Action 10, I'm actually not sure <laughs> what it is called, to be honest, um, has a pretty weak lower front plate. And the same goes to the Centurion Mark 1. The Centurion Mark 1 has only 76 to 88.9 millimeters of armor and you can see it's not a whole bunch of protection there. But in the end you get those side flaps which can be 6 millimeters of additional armor. The lower plate is 76 millimeters can even be penetrated by a lucky shot of a KV2 with a P. This tank, on the other hand, with 120 millimeters of, of pure armor won't have such a problem. And if we have a look at the picture, I'm pretty sure that this tank also have 120 millimeters of lower plate armor. Because look at how this plate is welded downwards. Like the cut is like this, so it looks like it's going downwards. And this plate is welded up on the top. So yeah, this will be most likely full 120 millimeters frontal armor which is to be honest not that much for a tier 8 medium tank but and now here comes the big but if you actually play hold down i think this will come in um, pretty handy for example if you go hold down with the centurion you still only have 150 millimeters of armor effective but now we are almost doubling the armor value so we have around 200 to 250 millimeters of effective armor that will be a lot and hard to penetrate for tier 8 opponents. If you are top tier and there are other tanks like, I don't know, something like SU-100 or, I don't know, Ch uh, Jack, Panzer, um, yeah, Jack Panzer 4, that will be pretty tough to penetrate, especially because the turret is still immensely strong with 256 millimeters of armor, or to be precise, 254. The gun is, as it looks like, the same. It's the OQF 20 pounder gun type B barrel. Well, okay, never mind. It's a little bit different. This is the type A barrel. So let's have a look at what exactly changes. Even though the DPM is exactly the same, the right of fire is, uh, right of fire is the same, penetration is the same, damage is the same with 230, the premium penetration is the same with 258, the reload time will also be the same, the accuracy is the same, and the aim time is the same as well. The only thing what Wargaming stated in their forum, here in the German forum, is, um, let's have a quick look, there it is, um, im Vergleich zum ursprünglichen Fahrzeug hat die Austra australische Variante eine etwas bessere Beweglichkeit und Stabilisierung. Okay, uh, when you are um, comparing those vehicles, the um, previous vehicle, has um, better um, mobility and stabilization. Excuse me, the Australian version has better stabilization and mobility, but loses 50 HP. That is basically it. And well, you also get a lot more frontal armor. So I think they most likely need to change this vehicle up a bit more, or they're saying that they're going to buff the Centurion Mark 1, give it a better DPM. That would be, I think, the best case scenario, because otherwise you would just have a premium tank which gets power creep to hell. And that is not actually that much fun, is it? I also want to have a quick look um, and compare it with the Primo Victoria. I could also um, compare it with the Stritzwagen um, 81, because it's the exactly the same tank. As you can see, the Primo Victoria does not get those um, upper front plates um, armor, and it has the um, yeah, it has a special modification, the 84 Kahn Stritzwagen 81 gun. 
and you can see the penetration is the same so it could actually be that with this tank here with the type b barrel we are getting a pcr as premium ammunition uh, as standard ammunition but i highly doubt it to be honest well yeah guys i guess that is it honestly it is the same tank i will most likely buy because let's be honest it looks gorgeous i I think the Centurion is a fun tank to play, especially the Premium Victoria. I didn't play it in a long time, but it is a fun tank nevertheless, especially with the turret buff. And um, this tank looks phenomenal. Yes, it is another Premium tank spam, if you want to say so. Yes, if it, if it comes out with those stats, then the Centurion Mark 1 will once again be... Um, it's called... Um, oh man, I forgot to know. Power Creeped. So yeah, I do hope that they are not going to do that because the tank otherwise would look really fun and yeah, it's just sad that it's exactly the same as the Centurion Mark 1 in, in the tech tree just worse. What are your thoughts, ideas and prayers for this vehicle? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm actually curious what you think about this tank. Thank you all so much for your attention and I guess have a great day. Bye bye.